So esports. <laughs> so uh, Phoenix T has, ex has expressed that this is his toughest matchup. Oh really? So to be fair, it might be a lot of people's. But, That's true, I guess. Uh, but there's not that many Diddy Kongs in Northern California. Yeah, it's um, we've moved on from people a that a lot of Luigi's though. Yeah. Jesus, we've moved on from people just picking up Diddy Kong to try and win yeah. to like, Evo figure that out. Very working. nice start here. Yeah, but it's broken up it's fast watch by out Sean. The up, the up air. Yeah, it really has there amazing range of priority. I've always liked uh, when Sean's. Early in the game, he always kind of saves his up air and uses his forward and back airs. Yeah, because he doesn't want to stale it out. Exactly, you don't want to stale it out, so he keeps it nice and fresh. <laughs> nice and fresh. <laughs> but as, uh, as I was saying, it's just uh, you're seeing a lot. You don't really see people like just picking up Diddy Kong anymore unless they like know how to use it. You're only yeah, seeing it happened for mains. like a week. Yeah. You're only yeah. seeing people that know how to use Diddy Kong. Now. Yeah, that's true. The the early the people that don't actually main them they get knocked out early. Yeah, they do. It's uh, it's free free to do. Yeah, people know how to fight them now. Yeah, exactly. You know he's fairly straightforward. You just watch out for the grabs and the banana. You know if you have projectiles, use them. Just, just, oh. oh, okay. I'll be out. Okay, you got it. All, All right. by yourself. You got. Well, Phoenix is doing a great job. This is a very even match. Sean right there missing a, a punish off the banana, but ooh oh. There we go. Missed the hoo-ha. So Phoenix is still tying it up. Oh, there it is. He almost DI'd that. Did a very good job, but the hoo-ha was just too much for him. Let's see how Phoenix T recovers here. Let's see if he can kill him fairly early enough without taking a lot of damage. Sean has always been a really smart player in so many different ways, even if he's down, which I've seen him several times. He's Keeps his head and doesn't change a lot in his gameplay because he knows what's going to work and what's not. Never gets flustered. So let's see here if he can keep his lead comfortably. Right now, Phoenix is still having a little bit of a tough time. He's adding percent, but he hasn't been able to kill him yet. But he hasn't taken too much percent either, so let's get... And there it is. We got the first stock off for Sean. So only took 38%. That's fairly decent. Let's see how... Ooh, tripped on the banana. Getting too zealous. Even while... Oh, there we go. Power shield into a combo broken up early. All right. We got Andrew coming on the mic to watch this beautiful matchup. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, come on right when Sean is playing. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Okay. The All best. Right. The best. Oh, uh, the best. The best the to best. watch, maybe. Best Diddy, Diddy yeah. you could say that comfortably. All right, so I said this in chat earlier, but basically the, the way I describe Sean's play is he he waits for you to do stupid mistakes, yeah. and then he gets like 60% punishes off of them. He does. And I feel like that's not really playing Diddy. Like, he's not necessarily playing Diddy. He's playing, he's playing Smash. His, he's playing his opponent. He's playing Smash. He's yeah. playing his opponent, and he's yeah. playing Smash. Like I've always liked, I've always, you know, yeah. I guess it was recently where I've really just gotten a lot more admiration for Sean because not only does he he doesn't have to use the banana at all he can win a whole match easily yeah. without the banana but even when he's under pressure when he's 120% down he doesn't change anything he doesn't make the mistakes doesn't yep. make stupid moves and then he can he DI, his DI is good enough where he can stay in the game long enough and yeah. a lot of the times he, he yeah. can pull it out pull it right out did you see did you see my picture of Sean I didn't where is this picture on the uh, NorCal Smash 4 community page Looks like okay it was it was after Cogpog too okay and uh, he was holding his his prize money up in the air. Okay. And then I I I uh, I captured it like like uh, what's that what's that song? Oh man. Oh, you mean like it was like the one where it's the end of Rocky or something? Or the one where they is it that? No, song? no, 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 no. It's like it's like Papa Molly drink some orange juice, get higher. And like he's holding his cash. Like, oh my god. It's just so okay. it's just so I get funny. It. Because he has this like really stoic expression on his oh. face, <laughs> and he just like doesn't look happy at all oh after losing God. the Zex. Oh, like yeah, that's funny. I'll, I'll look it up later. Yeah, that's all. Fun. That's that all. That looks enjoyable. Yeah. Right now we got it fairly even. Phoenix was able to get a little bit of a lead, but Sean, yep. uh, Sean got it right back. Yeah, I think Phoenix is doing a good job against. He's not really getting that flustered. He's playing his own his own game. I've seen Phoenix do that a lot. He'll throw somebody off the stage and he'll try to throw out the the jump to fair, and he doesn't land it a lot, but he also doesn't get punished a lot, so I guess that's... Okay, does 
does the F air depend on the hitbox, like to, in order for it to spike, and or get a strong hitbox? To my, no to my knowledge, if it connects, it's basically a spike. It's I a think spike? It's, okay. it's supposed to be a fairly easy move to get the the critical hit off of. Okay. Apparently, what um, Phoenix has told me is that you know if he was going to do Doctor Mario, yeah. one of the easiest crits, as long as you position it right, is the up up beat. Yeah, it is. That actually. Um, that Worst hitbox recovery. is extremely disjointed. Yes, it on is. On the up B for Dr. Mario. Yeah. Yeah, it's extremely disjointed. We've all seen it's Rice. It's like all like right in front of him, like yeah. super far in front and of then him. Like and, right if you, and if you pivot it, you actually get even more. Yeah. Yeah, you get even more distance. It's like really ridiculous. Yeah. So. Rice has made that famous. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah. That's... Banana so, in hand. Yeah. One of the things I really like about Sean's play is even though at those high percentages, if you down throw and you, you're basically like... Super high percentage, you can't get an aerial follow up, yeah. no matter what. However, he follows your air dodge yeah. and it kind of like makes you panic a little bit. Yeah. He thinks that you're fast enough to get, he makes well, you think that you're fast, he's fast enough to get yeah. that aerial follow up. But so based out of air dodge yeah. and he just follows you. You know, I, I think know, it's Sean a, if you as a player can start reading players' down or uh, spot dodges and air dodges, you're just gonna be a way more profitable player. You're gonna just do better. Instead of going for something that may be guaranteed or may not be, and just throwing it out there, yeah. if you just wait for the air dodge, 99% of the time you're gonna punish Yeah. Them. Another player that I notably also waits for air dodges is actually Rice. Like yeah. Rice waits for, God, like, he baits so many air dodges. Yeah. Like, Jeff that's, that why, that's why he can play so many different characters, because those fundamentals, those yeah. just like, Mind games, those well tactics. Set. Fundamentals yeah. is really important. Yeah, exactly. You know, That's he's always going to be successful because he's a smart player yep. and he knows how to manipulate and get mistakes out of the people, his opponents. Exactly. Oh, nice back throw. Grab. There it is. That should be it. Yeah. Yeah. But oh. he, he racked up 82 percent in the meantime while he was trying to get that kill. Yep. Okay. And that was a that was a good like that was really good timing on the ledge get up. That's true. Because he not only avoided oh. the banana, he also avoided the smash attack that came out as well. So That's true. Yep. That was really good. Ooh, almost gets that grab. Ooh, Ooh nice pivot, pivot grab. grab. That was nice. That was yeah. so fast. Yeah, it was. Oh. That's like brawl mechanics right there, dude. Yeah. That that shows that Sean is a brawl player. Like He's through and through, huh? Yeah. Not oh, really, oh my god. Oh, and this is Oh. Oh yeah, that's still good. got okay. it. He missed the first one. That the other is so strong. Oh it my is? goodness. Yeah. That's why okay. he's one of the top players. I, I need mean, to call a match. I will be